This is my most popular game, The Last Asteroid. It has over 10,000 downloads and over 200,000 views on YouTube on the video about it. But if you try to play it, you will soon see that it's actually quite boring. I would like to take the best things about this game and remake it from scratch. But if this game is boring, why did it get 10,000 downloads? The answer to that is controls. The idea of the game is quite unique. You control moon around Earth and protect it from asteroids. If you miss, the planet explodes. The original game was made in two days during a game jam, a theme being delayed and inevitable. Well, yes, the idea is interesting, there are practically no ways to level up and get new content. The current shop only has an upgrade of speeding up the moon and an idiot chance of the Earth getting randomly saved. You might play for 20 minutes beating your own score, but there's one thing we're missing. Content. I am going to add new planets, skins and additions. First, let's recreate the scene from the original game. That one had horizontal controls, but we are going to flip it because it makes more sense playing on the phone. Back when I was developing the previous game, I only tested it on a tablet because I didn't have a phone. That's why I thought it was better horizontally. A few examples of vertical games are Rider, Clash Royale and Knife Hit. Our game is rather simple and doesn't require difficult controls, so there's absolutely no point to keep it horizontal. The next step is updating the graphics. I teamed up with LD Artist once again to make the game look stunning. This is how the sketch of the game looked like. And now it's colored. The next exciting part was explosions. I suddenly work with the particle system, but with help of a tutorial it absolutely does the job. Here's what it consists of. A layer of particles, earth disappears, and shattered pieces appear and get flying somewhere, and an explosion sound is played. Al has a channel about country balls. Basically, animated history with countries with ice. Communism, vodka, famine. I still think it's a bad idea. We decided that we could probably use it to promote the game, so we added ice to the planet. In fact, Al plans to make a new channel about planet balls, the similar thing but about planets, where he'll be able to talk about the game as well. The basic principle of game design is to give a player a clear goal. Mine is to get all locations and all skins. In fact, it's quite important to understand how this game works. The progression is linear. This means as you unlock new updates, you get better. It's different from games like Clash Royale, where every card is unique and carries a value in the balance of the game. To make the player unlock both planets and backgrounds, they both depend on each other. You buy planets for diamonds and backgrounds for gold. The better background you have, the more diamonds you get, so you get more planets. It also works the other way around with the planets. This way you actually level up on both upgrades proportionally. Another loot type are power-ups, which are special abilities. To get a power-up you have to click on the power-up asteroids before they disappear. Then you can use double tap to spend one power-up and get a lot of speed. But wait, our game still doesn't have music. Luckily, a guy called Lord Cuba asked to rate his soundtrack for his own game on our Discord server. Epic! This is my guy! I connected with him and in a couple of days he created two incredible soundtracks for the menu and the battle. Now it's time for upgrades. We recreated all the solar system planets, and just like that you have 9 planets to explore. Saturn and Uranus have a separate gameplay, rings. So the game varies time to time and the gameplay changes. In my previous games I often made skins too challenging to get. Like, come on, who'd buy an orange pig for 500 coins collecting one at a time? The backgrounds range from normal ones like supernova or galaxy and keep getting crazy into some kind of... destruction? When we were making them, L1 sent me a background called Cosmic High. And I was like, you know, let me pick the ideas. Then we added a language picker to choose from English or Russian. And it was time to publish the game. This is the result how it looks now and how it looks two years ago. You can get the game on Google Play, the link is down below. We'd like to keep the game updated and ideally add new events and daily rewards. But that's about the future. See you later.